Hey guys, and welcome to Tr good morning, and welcome to Trinity's training page. Uh, our today's question comes from Jimmy Don Olson. Uh, Jimmy Don's question was uh, about water temperature. Okay, when is it too cold to put uh, dogs in the water? Uh, Jimmy, that's a uh, <laughs> that question has a lot of answers. Okay, but. Uh, I'm really good friends with a, a gentleman that lives up uh, up north, and he told me one time, he said, uh, you know, I, he comes to Texas every winter to train dogs, and uh, he said if the water's below about 52 degrees, he don't want to put his dogs in there. And I'm talking about dogs that are, you know, field champions and expiring field champions. Uh, so, I mean, he's been in the game a lot longer than I have. Matter of fact, he's been a, probably been in the, the game longer than I've been alive. I'm 44 years old, but, uh, but anyway, so what I what I've done here this morning is I've gotten uh, the the thermometer off my truck, and uh, it's it's about uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, and it's we had an extremely cold uh, morning. It's about 23 degrees this morning when we got up and uh, come down here to the kennel nice and early. Uh, let the dogs off the truck. We had them spend the night on the truck last night because it was so cold, um, as we do any time it's cold. But uh, uh, that being said, it was 23 this morning when we got up, and uh, right now it's uh, the thermometer was on the truck. It's showing 52 degrees. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop this in the water here. This is just a pool thermometer like you'd buy it like Lowe's or Home Depot or at your local pool pool su supply store. Now keep in mind, I'm going to give this a couple minutes here to, to uh, reach its temperature. It takes, you know, two or three minutes for it to cool down. But this is our swim by pond here. Um, it's really shallow on both ends. It's kind of shaped, uh, you know, it slopes in both ways. But it drops off about 60 degrees on each side, so it gets deep pretty quick. I'm right up here about, oh, I'd say probably just 10 or 15 feet. I'm down just about to where it drops off and starts leveling out. It's about 12 foot deep right here. Anytime I'm going to get dogs out and it's been cold like this, um, I want to check the water temperature. Um, I want it, I personally, if he thinks 52 is warm enough, uh, I want it to be around, you know, 54, 55, uh, at about the depth of the belly on the dog when they're swimming. Of course, they're going to stir up cold water as they're swimming. But uh, one of the important things that you can do for your dog is you can always have a thermometer on your truck to check your water temperature. The next thing is you can keep you uh, some towels. I like to use a chamois. Uh, I got one years ago at a Danny Farmer seminar, and man, I've just about worn that thing out. But we use it all the time when you've got dogs that have been in the water. Uh, the, the third thing you can do is have some tie-out chains where you can put your dog on a tie-out chain. After you've dried them off, you can tie them out to your truck or to a tie-out stake or whatever on the ground. And if I'd have thought about it, I'd have brought one of those and showed you. But um, Anyway, um, that, that gives them an opportunity to get, to get dried off out of the box to where they're not just sitting there in that box on, you know, with that cold water and stuff in their coat. That's very important. But the, the fourth and probably the most important thing you can use on your dog when it's wintertime and cold water and all that is just good old common sense, okay? If you think it's too cold, then run some land blinds that day or run some landmarks or work on you know something that your dog's weak on okay if they're if they're weak on holding a line on the side of a hill or something just go work on that it'll warm up you know especially here in texas it'll warm up here you know you may have a a week or two that it's kind of crappy weather and it's cold and wet and it's real humid and all you don't want to put dogs in the water those those times you want to wait for like the week we had last week we're at 78 degrees. We worked water four out of five days last week because we knew this cold spell was coming and we're probably going to get to do a lot of land work this week. But I'm going to pull this up here. I'm going to walk up here a little closer. 
And this water here, I, I don't know if Nick will be able to see this or not, but uh, I don't know what that glass will do on there. But uh, that's been in the water for about two or three minutes. You see it, Nikki? And it's uh, it's about 50 degrees, okay? So even even though we've had some some cool weather, um, you know the water's not too bad, but it's just a it's just a little too cold for me to put dogs in the water, uh, especially real young dogs, which which I generally have more young dogs than I do do older dogs, um, just because that's kind of what I enjoy training. Um, but uh, just use a use caution and and uh, have the proper equipment necessary for you to uh, have your dogs out in the in the water this time of year. Uh, use common sense, dry them off good, keep them warm at night, and uh, if you'll work hard for them, they'll work hard for you. Uh, you know, training and hunting are two different things on the water. Uh, I don't mind putting a dog out there to go get a get a live duck, but just to ask them to go swim out here in this ice cold water for a bumper, I just, I don't think it's necessary. But, uh, you know, uh, just pick and choose your days. Work on, work on what works best with your environment and your climate. You guys keep those questions coming. Thank you for asking it. Before you know it, we're going to house ourselves some well-trained retrievers.